look well there. Sure, there are a lot of balls across the face of our goal and oh. a lot of play in our, in our box, but you know, I thought we, we stood our ground at times and we had to and we defended well and um, yeah, that's what football's all about. You know, you've got to grind away sometimes. We're obviously missing a few players, so yeah, we had to do what we had to do. And that windy injury is that a serious injury? Yeah, that's not good for us because you know he can play uh, multiple positions. He can play left, right. Um, you know, he can play right fullback, which you know, fullback is out. We had to play the kid there, so um, yeah, you know, so it's a big blow to us. So he's not out for too long. Coach, I think uh, Magaman has done very well today in the middle of the game. Magaman changed his role as well today. I had to change his role. He's struggling. So we changed his role again today. We had to play him in a different position. I know he did okay today. Yeah. From the coming back, he's an assistant. Yeah, of course. He's probably not fit. He hasn't trained for three weeks. He could do hasn't trained. We had nothing. But I told him I have to come and play. Because we don't have, you know, we don't have good players. So we had to make a play. And I said, we can share the game. We play a little bit, and he went 60, 70 minutes for a and we took and played, and then we played the Gador. He hasn't trained that for three weeks. Do you give credit to your to defence coach because no, I mean, he's scoring, scoring the game there? Yeah, you give credit to the, to the team because, uh, you know, I thought the team were magnificent. You know, people playing out of position, a lot of people playing out of position. Uh, we didn't have much time to work with it one day. Trying to work on the shape that we are going to play, and um, so yeah, but I mean, hey. You got to battle away, you know, and go to the next one. Can this team really fight for this type of course? Compete? They're just going to try and fight the next game. <laughs> they just saw our squad is thin, 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 thin. So we, you know, we're trying, we're trying to get a team together for next week. Coach is next Tuesday. Talking about a thin squad, two days to go before the deadline. Any additions, maybe? <laughs> Ryan, we've got any money? <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't. Don't they? Don't they? Don't they? We need, we need. Okay. I'll go to the youth again. How many do we have out there tonight? Ten. Five. Five in the youth team. That's it. Hold again. Are you, are you able to talk about the first situation then? The yeah, you, you know, not really left us. <coughs> you want to, you know, he's been injured for over a month. He was injured. So he decided he wants to leave, so I, I wasn't trivia to put you away in Botswana when it all happened, so I wasn't really trivia to it. And then, you know, he didn't train for well over a month, and then he went to train the next day at another club, so yeah, I wish him well, and then, you know, things happen in football, and he wants to, he wants to play more, so good luck. Coach, may I ask about the, the incident? As a fellow coach, do you sympathise when coaches go through sort of, sort of like uh, incidents like this one where the supporters react in that way? I've been there. I've been there. I've been at Swallows in the boot of a car. Uh, I've, been, I've been there, so I understand. It's not, a, it's not, a, it's not for me to really comment. It's not, it's not the right way to handle things. You know, we need to be more understanding of situations. And, um, and maybe they win on Saturday, then what happens? So you never know. If, but yeah, I think, that, you know, we can handle these things in other ways. And it's just, yeah, it's sad. It's very sad. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.